Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Kaiserreich playing as a Romania, which we're looking pretty good right there. That's a, that's a very nice Romania. Right now, we're still in the war against Hungary and her allies, really Austria and her allies, even though Belgium looks like it's suffering a little bit as well, or no, France is suffering from Belgium. Uh, well, either or. And it looks like the Union of Britain has decided to pull, or try to pull a sneaky around Ireland, going around the other side of Ireland, and to Galway, but they're not quite there yet. Also... Uh, Bulgaria is in the Reich's Pact, but let's talk about it. So, most of the comments were focused yesterday on Greece and calling our allies in. Um, also, apparently Greece likes artillery quite a bit, so it is what it is. Uh, the, like I said before, the reason why I've not called in my allies yet is, first of all, Serbia is really sucky right now. Holy cow, they are weak. Calling them in would could prove to be a very bad idea. It could be a good idea. It could be a bad idea. However, if I call Greece and Serbia in, that might just make the Bulgarians go right ahead and go to war with Greece and Serbia and me because, of course, we took territory from them earlier. Rightful territory, but especially Eastern Salonika uh, and other nations, other little things around here. That most likely will happen. Even though Bulgaria does not have cores on it right now, I've had that happen to me off screen before, so I'm going to wait first. And I will call them into the war later on. Once we can smash enough their armies, we will. But right now, I think it's a big no, 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 no right now. So, first of all, we're going to try to smash through here. That's okay. Export more than grain. Good. Uh, a rural outreach. Refineries. Yeah, what is our influence like? It should be still be really good, right? Yeah, total autocrats. Good. Totally occupying them. Do, do, do this. We need... Ruling party is paternal autocrats, which is nice. Uh, let's ex uh, exploit the rivers. Romania's many rivers provide endless opportunities for growth and development from improved transportation and hydroelectricity. While this will require significant investment from the state, the long-term benefits will be immense, which is fine to spend a little bit of influence right now. We're still sending in the army, which is good. And supply-wise, well, we need more guns. Which would be good. Now, I was thinking we maybe we attack up here, but can we really afford that? Uh, they're already moving in, so probably not. I want to get my horses down here and the militia, so we can do well down there first. Also, the, uh, as you can tell, the Reich's Pact is on a two-front war, which is good. So we'll see what happens. It just if I go to war with Bulgaria and they call in the Ukraine and then Germany, it's just it's going to be not bueno for us. It's just straight up not going to be bueno at all. If I call in Serbia, not Greece, Serbia will eventually call in the Bul the Greeks to go to war with Bulgarians too. So. Okay, France, that is interesting to do right now. Oh, yeah, and they're also war with Switzerland, which is actually not bad to call in as an ally. Netherlands joined the Reich's Pact. I don't know why you would do that. That seems like a really bad idea, but okay. All right, then. This is normally French. Yeah, they actually pushed in. Hmm. Support weapon three. Good. I'm just... These horses... Horses are really the militias taking forever to get down there. Forever. Go and do that. It's already 1939. That's fine. Are we down there yet? Come on. Good. We are. Let's try to push them across. Bring your best and help support the attack. So this is a very good defensive position to have if we're defending against the river. And then we'll send our soldiers back up north. Oh, and we've caused them to attack me. Good. Mm, I don't trust that. Just a little bit more right there could be pretty helpful. Pretty helpful. Good, good, good. And how many planes do we have? Do we have any air bases around here? Oh, we do. Yeah, we definitely need more planes, but it is what it is. I love seeing green. Ah, there we go. We got it. Good. And I'm going to head you, have you guys head back up this way. Hopefully we can break through here. We might not be able to, but we do have a lot of good infantry up this way, so that is why I want... Maybe we can circle... I'm going to assume three to four divisions maybe right there. Hopefully. Of course, we'll see what happens. Good. You're almost there. And they've almost gone there. And you're going to get attacked immediately. Wow, you guys are fast. Way faster than before. And you're going to help out in that battle. That's nice. Good stuff, good stuff. I guess, yeah. Even though, you know what, if we go to war with Bulgaria, this border is completely open. And the Reich's Pact isn't doing well enough, or doing poorly enough, for me to do that yet. If the Reich's Pact starts losing against the Russians, which they are slowly losing, then that's cool. But right now, not yet. Go, Russia, go. We will totally not try to destroy you later on. I have a two, do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice, warm, and happy. Michael's 18th birthday. Wow. If you want to read this, go right ahead. I don't feel like reading this right now for some reason, so the country's taking news positively, having a positive opinion of the young prince, and seeing him as a sign of hope for the future. Good. Great. 
Uh, Prince Michael. Happy birthday, your highness. Ooh, another factory. Don't mind if I do. Oh my goodness. We're gonna need a little bit more of this too. Very good. Even more guns. Yeah, they're still attacking the line, which is great. Uh, do you guys need any help? No. Green is good. Green is very good. Anything over here at all? Nope. That's good. Constantin. Good. Anything over here? Eon? Nope. Good stuff. Losses thus far. They've taken over 600,000. Almost 700,000 losses in total. Hungary has lost the second most, with Austria taking over a third of a million. It's amazing they won the Weltkrieg before. Amazing. Now, I don't think we'd actually be able to win here. I really doubt it. But you know what? I'm going to risk it. See what we can do against five divisions. That's quite a bit. Everyone helps out. Oh, the fall of Rome. How will Rome recover from this? Goodbye, Rome. Goodbye. Oh, a little bit of yellow over there. That's not good. That's okay. Let's go ahead and move over there. You should be okay if we move over there. Exploit the rivers. Awesome. Uh, paternal autocrats. That could be pretty darn good. Let's get some more, some more for dockyards, maybe. Naval doctrine. We get a air thing. Uh, Marines. Get a free dockyard. So, the Galati shipyard has has had a long shipbuilding history. With the loss of Constant, Constanta, we should ensure that the Galati remains properly equipped to build and maintain our warships. Good. Very good. Uh, recruit. Uh, oh, we even went down here. That's not good. So, oh, oh, let's do this one. We have plenty of political power to do this. That's fine. Solidify control, actually. Now nah, we good. Yeah, we actually went down. We actually spent our own influence. That's not good. Oh, that is not good right here, though. Throw in the militia, they should be oh, okay. Oh, you're not even over there yet. That's fine. Yeah. Come on. You guys got this. If they throw in another division in, that's fine. Whatever. Throw in two more divisions. Even the Illyrians, the Croats, can't do anything against us. This is beautiful. Let's smash that Hungarian military division. Oh, that is nice. That is beautiful. Come on, come on, come on. We can get five. I was hoping for three or four. Come on, five. Oh, we've done it. Five, five, five. Five 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 five. That's my phone number. Five 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 five. Ah, but the trick is you don't know my area code. Oh, not really. That's not that's not my, my real phone number. But whatever. Oh, we need. Mm, that does not look good. Oh, are we still mobilizing all the way? Oh, that does not looking good. Uh, just kind of hang out for now. Trinidad's dead in Tobago. Well, sucks to be you. <laughs> And uh, resource efficiency gain, like we said before, there's really no point. We actually have one steel now. Wow. A whole steel. I'd love to do tanks, but we can't really quite do that yet. Do that one. Our support equipment is looking not bad. But we don't have any on them yet. <clears throat> good, 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 good. Hmm. Failure of the Halifax Conference. Huh. Hardly surprised, and that's a good thing for us. Good. Build some more of this. Yeah, it's fine to do that. There, it's fine. And then do some more here. And then there. Good. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, another division? Don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, you guys are down there. I won't put you guys over there. That's good. Hmm, can't really spare anybody. Really can't spare. Oh, they're really gu gunning for us now. We do have pretty thin lines, I'm not going to lie, these lines are pretty darn thin, but they're pretty good on defense. I'm just a little worried about this singular division. Alright, go ahead and put, it, put them out of their misery. You guys help the attack. Cavalry help out. Gun? Oh, we're doing actually okay on artillery, which is great. Come on, and we've killed off even more divisions. This is a slow but positive drive to smash Austrian hegemony. Also, Bessarabia, I technically already own Bessarabia, I realized that from yesterday. I already own Bessarabia, but we just need Bukovina, which is great. Alright, so the next place to strike would be maybe here, because we can come this way as well. Oh boy, that's not good. You guys hold them in place, hold them in place. We just need a little bit of time to hold them in place. Attacking here would be not very wise, even though we might be able to... Capitulate Lemberg. Uh, we haven't really taken that much off them. They'd probably get crack out as a capital next. So probably not a good idea to do that. So we'll attack here next. 
push in for two tiles. Go, 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 go. How long are you going to take? Very long. Cool. Go and stop attacking. All you were was merely a distraction. That's all they were. And before... Is there... Oh, there's a division hiding here. I just want to be sure. There's two divisions. Nice. That is scarily low. Ooh. The fall of Kiev? Great. Great. Ooh. Lithuanians? Ooh. Conjure new titan censorship. So, another move to silence opposition. The newspaper belonging to the opposition was forcefully shut down by the Iron Guard. Oh, boy. That's not looking good. Before they could start today's print, claiming that the paper had a history of publishing libelious publications, the captain loudly proclaimed that until the media could mature, censorship laws are to be tightened in order to protect Romanians from their lies. Uh, I need to get rid of, rid of all this influence. Hmm. I really don't want to do this, but it seems like we might have to do this. But I have to have political uh, manpower first. I have to have more manpower. Before I do anything else, I have to have manpower. God dang, these enemies love attacking the line, especially in the south. I'm glad we pushed them back over the river. Look how weak the Austrians are. Jesus Christ, that's they're actually pretty, that's a pretty good division too. Up to thirteen four. Not bad, really not bad at all. Another division, good, but concerning still. That's still still concerning. Get up to the line. Yeah, you guys looking good? Oh, these are, they don't have any support companies. Nice. Well, obviously the militia does not either. These guys are garrisons. These guys... Hmm. Motorized artillery. We would have enough for that. We would have, ha we would have enough of this. We would hurt everything else though first, so let's not do that yet. Go ahead and let's try and attack. Push the line to look like we're becoming weaker, weaker, weaker. We're doing pretty well, okay. That's a little better than I thought. Eon is doing a great job. And actually, after that, I need to push even further in. Stretch out the line a little bit more to bait enemies into attacking us. Good. Come on. Go, 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 Inspector Gadget. Um, expand. More dockyards. Good. So, while it's not as developed as Galati, the loss of Constanta has tied her hands and we should develop the Braida. Shipyard to help pick up the slack. That is great. Even though we're only building that stuff, that's fine. There's no way for me to make an encirclement here because of the location of where this all is. Let's read from the line, maybe. Good. Stretch out their line so it's easy for us to attack their lines. That'd be good. I just don't think... We could try to come over here and smash this way. Hmm. Oh, that's not good. That's so not good. No. You know what? Attack that tile. Make sure they don't move. Oh crap, they're pushing in. That is not good. That is not good. Come on guys, move in. Get in there. Oh wait, oh crap, no! This is why it was so bad. Why am I guarding the Serbian line? They're not in the war. Oh crap, this is not good. Uh, you god dang idiots. What? That doesn't make any sense. Why? No, 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 no. I was wondering why we had so few divisions. That's fine. Hold the line. At least Galicia will be okay. Everyone else is like, you big dum-dums. That's all they are right now, big dum-dums. But we can still, we can still use this. We can definitely still use this. Because of what they're doing. Let them move around a little bit. That's fine with me. Let them move around. Oh, it's possible. Happy 1940 though, everyone. Happy 1940. Good, you're here. That's I like it. I like it that you're here. Good. Break through there, immediately begin to attack that way, and then we're going to shift down south. Actually, have you guys come here. We're going to circle th these two Austrian divisions. Good, help out, help out, help out. Get the horses to go, the militia will just stay here too. Ah, not a bad idea if I do say so myself, not a bad idea. Hold the line guys, there are only two divisions here, but that's more than fine. Come on, come on, horses. Good job. Now you hold, because the militia are doing something crazy. I'm not sure what they're doing, but I don't like it. Help out. Help out. Help out. 
There you go. See, we encircled two more enemy divisions. Not bad. Even when I may make a mistake and not realize things, we can still do or find positive in a little oopsie, I guess we'll call it. An oopsie. Ethiopia? Okay, well, have fun with that. Oh, they attack synagogues again? Yeah, no, sorry. That's not cool right now. Maybe in another campaign, but not right now, man. There you go. Beautiful. And now we've linked up the things again. And this time, I'm going to make sure I don't make the same mistake. There we go. There we go. Nice and solid the way it is. And we've taken more land. Oh, if I could right now make an encirclement and get and drive to Lemberg, I would. Two, three, four. I need every single division to get right here. Maybe we can do it. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. Uh, radar, 1940. Ah, uh, sure. Nuclear Romania. I think that's a great thing. Move, move, move. As everyone else is getting adjusted. Oh, don't. Oh, God. If they encircle me there, that's so not good. I wonder. I doubt we could really attack there, but that's okay. Retreat that way. Just, I need someone to help guard that hole. Stanislaw? Hmm. The capital's open. You know what? Let's not risk it. You guys come here. You guys come here. You guys hold these people in place. You hold for now. And you help attack. You guys help attack. Small instruments win the day. Nice and easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You guys got this. Easy peasy, right? Good. Good. Oh, don't let them in. Don't let them in. Come on. Help out a little bit. Get in there, get in there, get in there. We did it. Another encirclement. Help attack. Destroy them. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Union Day? I love Union Day. Yeah, we're, we're done mobilizing. I have to have more soldiers. Service by requirement. I don't like doing that, but I have to. Five divisions, my friends. Five divisions. Five enemy divisions all have been surrounded once again and destroyed. Pat on the back for that, my friends. We are slowly but surely destroying the enemy army. And it's literally just us doing this. We have no help. Literally no help. No one wants to help out Romania. And we will remember that. Alright, so we're going to concentrate our forces right here. We might have to break over the river, which is so not ideal. Let's go ahead and move that way if we can. Can we actually break over the river? Maybe. That'd be great. Surround Lemberg and destroy it. Ukraine is slowly falling, but Belgium and really Germany are doing a good job over here. Even though the Union of Britain has invaded over here, and actually over here, they the Union of Britain's done pretty well with their naval invasion so far. Now, well, we have to wait and see how well it turns out to be, but having a port there is so helpful. And having no port here, ah, oh, they have Bruges and Rotterdam, it looks like. That's actually pretty smart. Oh, they, they've invaded down there, though. That's not good. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. You're doing a great job. They're just, they're just Austrians. Uh, I thought I'd look up. Whatever. Nice. Good. Go, 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 go. And, come on. Horses, I put you... Yes! Lemberg has been surrounded. Uh, that's not... Is that Lviv? That might be Lviv, I think. Good. Come up from here. Straight to the heart of Galicia, little Maria. And the enemies can't do anything. They can't do a single goddamn thing. I was really, before this campaign started, really a little unnerved about doing this. Just because, as Romania by yourself, you know you're not a weak, weak, weak power. You know, you have a little bit of strength. But, like, some of this, mm, I'm like, mm, is it really possible? It is possible. I don't, know, I don't have that. Like, I don't have a lot of confidence when it comes to playing as minor powers. So it does help a lot, though, that we're not playing. Um, what was I going to say? I forget what I was going to say. Oh my goodness, words difficult, hard. Oh, but uh, yeah, I don't generally like playing minor powers. I usually like the big powers. Go help them out, help them out, or not. Okay, see you later. Let's help them out over here. I want to get Lemberg next. Uh, equipped Braille. Good. Oh, look at this. Less consumer goods factories and more do dockyard output defender of the Danube. So, from Vienna to the Black Sea, Danube is perhaps the greatest single route of transportation in Europe. As master of its mouths, we can greatly benefit from the river and all the economic activity within it. Great. Let's go and do this too. It was going to lower our stability, but I want less 
popularity support for that thingy, my bob. Oh, we've encircled enemy tanks. I love that. Go and attack this group then. Love it. Send in the best. The militia can defend. Let's take out Lemberg. That was easy. That was ridiculously easy. Alright, cool. And we got factories from it. What more could you ask for, really? I love Russia right now. God, factory-wise, we're doing great. Go ahead and exterminate these guys. Goodbye! After this, it should be easier to take out the rest of the, uh... Dona Edriabund. Come on. Come on, y'all got this. They're trying to attack their way out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Losses. They lost over a million against me. I haven't even taken 100,000 losses yet. Now, they're trying to really hurt us. But Peru just declared war on Chile for some reason, and they, they, they're they pissed. They are pissed. And I'm happy about that. Oh, don't let them in. Don't let them in. Don't get over here. Uh, don't let them move. Um, all right, so they got it there. Good. Make sure you get to the line. Get to the line. The next place to attack would probably be here, but that's over a river, which is really not good to attack. Really not good. Um, naval stuff. Land doctrine. 146. Oh, we can kind of wait. 1940. What do I do for 1940? I'm doing all the research stuff already. Fuel? We're pretty good on fuel. Everything else can kind of wait. I mean, that can wait as well. Plane-wise? I guess we do planes. That's fine. That seems like a good idea. Hmm. I spy. Where's another good place to attack? Maybe right here, actually. Extend the line north more? So you can go around to Casa? That might be good to do. Military police went out. Or we come up this way. Okay. Cool. I love cavalry. They're just so flipping fast. Good. And circle two more divisions. I mean, they're not that strong, but I'd rather circle them than not encircle them. So, there is that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Up out right there. Good. Just in case. Give him a little more strength. There you go. And encirclement already. Help him out. See, I knew they wouldn't capitulate. Krakow would become their capital. Good. Glorious, my friends. Glorious. Nice. Easy. Right? Easy. Two more divisions. Go bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Austrian division. Goodbye. Oh god. Oh, I see. I spy with my four eyes. Right here. I just don't have enough divisions to break through it and circle all these guys. Two divisions, good enough for now. Then head down that way. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on, 82, 82, 82, 82. Oh, they're trying to slink out that way. No, 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 no. You go ahead and move up there. That's fine. Anywhere else that we need to be keep an eye on? Nope. Yes. Anything else from anyone? Nope. Nope, that's fine with me. Beautiful. Now, you're not moving. You're coming that way. Can you help out attack here? Yes, you can. Help the attack here. You guys are done? Nope. You're going that way. Let them slither on in, we'll say. Slither on in. Uh, good. Help attack, help attack. We're not even attacking over river. This will call 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 divisions if they retreat this way. 9 divisions could potentially be encircled here. And that's incredibly important. Take crack out. Capitulate them. Destroy them. Go that way too. We did it. Alright, move in, soldiers. Actually, you go that way. You go that way. You go that way. Take them out. We need more guns. But we're actually doing pretty well on guns. Not too bad, actually. Good. Oh, help them out. Help them out. By, by help them out, they died. Need a little bit more fuel from them. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, this is be the beginning. It, actually, we're already in the middle of the end for them. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes, yes. Help them out. Good. Now, I could try a general attack, but that just... That would be suicide. Um, I wonder if we can rush Prague and the Reichenberg. Reichenberg. Now, the trick is to not get attacked by Germany right now, because, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be very good. Go for Vienna. 
Can we get Vienna? That'd be amazing. Go, 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 go. Uh, keep them here, guys, for now. Yeah, that'd be nice. Keep them here. Another Legion unit is gone. Uh, what do you guys... Uh, I might recommend you break over the river that way. I'm sorry, Serbia. I told you when I was going to be... Excuse me, ready. But, uh... Actually... Can we go this way? Can we encircle, encircle them this way? That'd be so good. Help them out. Nope, oh, we can't quite win there. That's okay. Oh, we're making... We're going to Prague. We're risking it. We're risking it. <laughs> I don't have a lot of spare divisions, but ooh, go there. Take that out. Since you're moving up that way, that's fine. We actually broke. Oh, we nice. We got that little area too. Oh, we found resistance and Brun. That's not good. Could we encircle this division here? Potentially. Oh, Praha's almost ours. Oh, they found us. They found us. Nope. Hold, 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 hold. This is disgusting. Um, at this point, go ahead. Full attack, everyone. See what we can do. You guys, you are still absolutely necessary to the war effort. You guys go there, and you guys cut these guys off. Bohemia, yes, we did it. We snaked into Praha, took Reichenberg, Brun. That was, that was great. Holy cow, that was awesome. Uh, a couple more guns, sure. And we need some fighters, too. Get to 20, that's good. Buy some more from Russia, because we love Russia for now. Mm, you know what, call them in. I will call them in. See what happens. Good. Go, 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 go. And Greece has been called in. See what happens. Come on. Get get in here so we can destroy another three, maybe two divisions. Oh, two divisions is probably going to be Albania. Albania? Uh, Al Albania? What are you doing? Didn't I guarantee you? I did guarantee you. Hmm. Oh, the Xbox is getting beaten up. Oh, look at that. Switzerland's even pushing into southern Germany. Oh, yes. I'll take some stuff. Great. Oh, this is a fall of the Austro-Hungarian Empire again. I love it. Oh, go ahead, guys. Uh, maybe not you. Defenders of the Danube. Good, good, good. It's fine. Uh, help them out. Expand the Danube flotilla. Cool. Black Sea. Not bad. Destroyer models. Let's get that, uh, company. So, the Societatia Penthru Exploitari Techniki, Technici, or Technical Development Society, is an aircraft plant in Bucharest specialized in developing new terrain aircraft. We need to expand its facilities to give them the capacity to help our Air Force grow, grow, grow. Oh, we can encircle them here. Yep, they're dead. They're done. Go, go, go. Uh, do you guys not actually not have orders? Do y'all need, like, orders or something? Cool. Oh, yeah. Hey, is that artillery? No, that must be guns, yeah. That makes more sense than... Because that much artillery coming from Greece would not make sense. Oh, crap. They got... Oh, god dang it. They got it back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Austria actually pushed... This is why I did not want them to call it in. They even pushed into Serbia already. But it looks like that's doing okay. Oh, they got back... The fall of Vienna. Vienna is finally ours. Just make sure we don't get encircled and die here. Please. Just hold. I want, no, you have to hold. No, you're going to hold. I want to keep Vienna. Austria sues for peace. The tyrannical Habsburg monarchy's troops have been beaten on the field by the, our glorious liberating armies. Even the decrepit head of the Rotten Empire is seeing its inevitable demise in a suit for terms. They are willing to cede all of our claims, except those on core Austrian lands, as they are desperate to salvage what is left. With our aims achieved, there is little reason to refuse this generous offer, even if the prospect of marching through Vienna's Heiden or Helden Platz and finishing off the dying corpse of an empire is indeed tempting. We are triumphant. Oh, that hurts our stability and war support, even though we already have no stability. Refuses peace. Romania roots the Belgrade pop. Uh. Mm, oh, we're doing so well. We could crush them here. But because we can have Serbia as an ally, and they'll probably get all of Illyria or most of it. Doing that probably won't be good. We can be triumphant, and we might be able to turn our attention now to maybe to the Reichsback to really crush them. We can always come back and beat up Austria. So what you will do? We are triumphant, and see what happens because we have done exceedingly well. 84,000 casualties versus 1.27 million. That's beautiful. Go ahead and stop the attacks. I'd rather not suffer any more casualties. Go ahead and hold for now. Good. And there we go. So, delegates of the Belgrade Pact have met with the Habsburg 
counterparts and Budapest to hammer out the peace terms. In the ensuing treaty, the Austrians have ceded all of our claims except those in core Austrian lands in exchange for peace. This is a glorious day indeed for the Balkans are finally freedom from foreign interference and our ethnic brothers are finally reunited with the homeland. Beautiful. Uh, yes, we got Bukovina, which is good. Uh, I'll give it a day and then it'll be our core territory. Um, are they still fighting? Mm, are we? Mm, Illyria is independent. Interesting, to say the least. Interesting. Well, just in case. Very interesting. And we've got more political power, which is great. We're total autocrats, which is nice. Solidify control. Well, we can do that later. Uh, Chief of the Navy, naval stuff. I'm also going to do that. Might as well, yeah. Cool. Very good. Austrian Empire has joined the. Mm. Austria intervenes in the Second Valkyrie. Uh, yeah, uh, Austria. I don't know about that Austria. I really don't know. Especially if. Oh, wait. Is Illyria independent? They are independent. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's nice. We're going to help out Serbia here. Um, you know, this is going to be a point of contention between me and Serbia, probably what Benat is. But I love it. The Great Union is achieved. The Great Union was a dream that the last remaining Romanian principality, Transylvania, would finally be united with Romania. It is no longer a dream, but reality achieved the blood of Romanian patriots. Not only are soldiers triumphantly marching through Transylvanian cities, cheered by liberated Romanians, there is no question among the international community as to who rightfully owns the region. With the king signing the triumphant decree, the dream of great unit union is reality. Transylvania, Banat, Crescania, the Satmar, and the Mara Moors are and remain forever within united with the Kingdom of Romania. The celebrations, however, hide the anxiety among the many notables. After all, reversing the Treaty of Bucharest and liberating Transylvania were the goals keeping Tran Romania's two leaders united. Now, now, only one man can stay at the top and claim total victory. Which hopefully, we can do the Carlos Restoration. But we'll see what happens. Oh, Renewed Pride. Yes, yes. I love Renewed Pride. Ooh, there's a little bit of lag there too. Come on, help out our brothers down in uh, Serbia. Come on. Go, 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 go. Are we actually in the war? Yes, we are. Cut them off. Cut them off. Go, go, go. Yes, we have cut them off. Great. Venezuela joined the Andean Pact. Well, good for you guys. Nice. Okay, and there goes Albania. Um, I really probably don't deserve any of this. I'll give this part to Greece because Greece should probably get Northern Epirus. Probably. I'll give Serbia this too. Since even though I'd love to have Albania... That's okay. So, Transylvania's ours. Our troops have triumphed over the enemy and secured our claims across the Carpathians. With Transylvania secured, local militia units can be safely disbanded and these young patriots can return home. Where? They will be needed to rouse support from Greater Romania. Oh, we lose our militia divisions, but that's okay. Go to Zagreb. Serbia, I'm expecting some compensation out of this, maybe. Oh, that's a big Austrian fleet. Well, this is bigger than ours, at least. You guys have done a stupendous job. This will definitely be remembered in the history books. Oh, we even have more guns now. Oh, yes. I love guns. Woo. Oh, there. There they are. Transylvania militia stand down. So, the uprising we had sponsored raised multiple ad hoc units whose part in the initial stage of the offensive was crucial for our victory. Now that their homes have been liberated, these units have been disbanded, though part of the brave men have shown their willingness to join the pro army proper. Nonetheless, the names of these true patriots will be remembered forever on the both sides of the Carpathians. The nation is in their debt. And we get more manpower. Great. And we have more of this, too. I love building up some of this. We'll do that. We might build up some of that, too. And then do dot, dot. Good. I'm really focusing more on, uh, as you can tell, military factories. Oh, it is so time to go to war with the Rex Pact. Even though they're, they're pretty big. I don't like that. We can still do a good job, though. Hmm. Hungary. We have a truce with you, so we're probably not going to go to war with you. How about Ukraine? Actually, you know what? Hmm. Let's finalize this. We're going to finalize this. Yep. The hell that the commune is doing great, even though they're not doing great up there. Verdun isn't falling yet, though. That's strange. Uh, we lost 5,000. We've lost the most soldiers against Illyria. We've killed off 92,000, though. God, I love being Romanian in this campaign. Woo! Ah! Corneliu. Oh, yeah, move faster. Definitely move faster if you can. Do you have another? Are you level 6? God dang, send you to Ranger as well. Ooh, he's on fire. Help him out, help him out. Good. And Albania is a puppet of 
Uh, Serbia. Armor research, Serbia. So, oh, Pedro II, education reform seems pretty nice. So they went down this path, education reform. Rise of the White Eagles. So, Mikhail Stelescu had only risen to prominence some years ago, but the young, shining star of the Legion had quickly gathered its own cult following among the movement. It is not clear whether it is from envy, ambition, or idealism, but the young man and his followers have broken off from the main legionary movement in a very high-profile event. Stelescu has announced his plans for a founding of a movement of his own and calls Volturi Albi the White Eagles. Stelescu's splinter movement, while still very national and radical, calls for social reform such as an eight-hour workday and decent minimum wage. Minimum wage? Come on, man. These ideas have brought many to question the group's true colors, and many prominent legionnaires are openly accusing Stelescu for being a lapdog for an international Jewish socialist conspiracy. Hmm. The White Eagles, in turn, have criticized the main movement, harshly of betraying the working-class Romanians. Stelescu's splinter movement has already begun branding apostates by many prominent legionnaires, and the captain needs to decide soon how to deal with deal with the crisis within the movement. Uh, deserves only bullets. Oh, now that's going to be a thing here. We can't really put that. The king dismisses the government. Now is the track. This is again really interesting. Let's see. They did glory to the king for Serbia. One Vojvodina, one nation, one state. Where's is there a Yugoslavian one? Ah, encourage Yugoslavism. So now he can Serbia can now like integrate the other people down here. And once Zagreb is gone, they're gone for good. Uh oh, what's going on? A little bit of lag. That's okay. Our main goal, we will be at war again once with these guys as well. Which would be probably a little bit more difficult, but that's okay. And there goes Illyria. Great! I hope you remember the Serbia. I really hope you remember this, because I killed off another 90,000 Illyrians for you. So, we've dismissed the government. After an inflammatory speech in the Chamber of Deputies against Conjunu, Stelescu presented numerous allegations against the captain by submitting facilities... Facil I can't speak right now, I'm sorry. Of Conjunu's civil registry papers. Stelescu's Allegations range from accusing the captain of homosexuality, oh my gosh, and being directly sponsored by Romania's highest ranking Freemason. While the Legion insists that Stelescu's allegations are utterly insane, King Carol saw the opportunity given and took it by dism dismissing Kajanu and his cabinet. Claiming that the Legion was no longer fit to govern or represent the people, the king appointed a new government led by Armand Kalinescu. Why is everyone Escu in this universe? Kanjunu and the Iron Guard are outraged. While we don't truly have a legal reason to, we do have a chance to arrest Kanjunu and his thugs while they are vulnerable. Dismiss them? Royal Camarilla is the way we want to go. Uh, arrest them. National populism. Dismiss them? Oh, I don't know which one's better. Oh, we lose even more stability. Is that good? National populism. Just arrest them and see what happens. This might not be good, though. As long as we don't kill them. That's the main thing that I remember. Do not kill them. We cannot afford to do that. Good God. Serbia, you're looking thick, son. I love me a thick Serbia, but God dang, son. Uh, oh, this is not going to be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we can, we can do that. Nine, not bad, not bad. Cancel. Oh, why'd you cancel on these, man? I really like that. Cool. Split them there again, if we can. Oh boy, along. Oh boy, what's going on? What, what, what was that? Appear him? Appear next to him? Oh, it's right here. Oh, more paternal autocrat support. Oh. Serbia is joining the Entente, so Serbia disbands the Belgrade Pact. Today we received an urgent message from Serbia. Following recent diplomatic negotiations, officials have moved to disband the Belgrade Pact, deciding that the situation of Europe has immeasurably changed and a small regional alliance would be unable to protect the Balkans from external threats any longer. They've implored us to follow their lead in seeking protection from larger powers and have apologized for the situation. You piece of garbage. You garbage dealer. Ugh. 19 days. God dang. Now we're left alone. After all that we've done for you, you abandon us to join the Entente. War's over? What a relief. They were no longer a major power. Do I have claims on this? I would love to have claims on this stuff. Come on, man. Oh! That, that's a that's a big mistake. That's a huge mistake. You're not going to get anything out of this. Oh, the captain's wrath. Corneliu Conjunu has certainly not taken his dismissal meekly. Angry, fiery speeches after fiery speech have driven the Iron Guard into a frenzy. Arresting the former Prime Minister appeared to have done little to stop the demagogue from spreading his venom against the treacherous Carol. Unrest is quickly spreading as legionnaires protested the leader's dismissal, demanding his government be reinstated. These demands are, of course, unacceptable. It will be up to the military to handle the situation and ensure that the Legion's paramilitaries are suppressed. Otherwise, harsher measures may be needed. Either the Legion should be outright outlawed and completely suppressed, or it may be finally time to cut off the head of the snake and let the Legion fall apart on itself. 
Outlaw the Legion? Assassinate him? The military will handle it. I do not do assassinate, because let's just say, if we assassinate him, Carol might not survive, so... Uh, populism, outlaw the Legion, arrest them. The military will handle it. 10-10. Ten, ten. I want to get rid of our national populism. Outlaw them. Arrest them. Do not kill them. Do not, 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 not kill them. Ooh, even the United Baltic Duchy is not doing great, which is good to see. But we will, we will not... Ooh, uh, ease up conscription. Maybe. We'll see. But uh, we are not going to go to war. Oh, yes, we are. Paternal autocrats. Thank the Lord. Ooh, and they have only 4% support, which is awesome. Yeah, that's good. We're not going to go to war or join, do anything until uh, we can join the Entente. So, collapse of the Union. Okay, so, Revanchist Rally, everything for country. Sorry, son. We only have minus 33% stability. We're looking like the United States of America here. Oh, there goes AUS. Fall of Nolens. That is weird. March on Bucharest. With the military and police unable to control the unrest, the Legion has gathered a large force outside Bucharest, hoping to intimidate the government and security forces. The Iron Guard is now marching onto the capital with Koralinu Kondranu at its head. The Legion has gathered thousands of green shirt clad members alongside a uh, number of supporters. Some of them are armed, though. We have no idea how many, though. The army has been ordered to stop their march, but there's no doubt that they are willing to open fire on the crowd without provocation. It may not be too late to give concessions to appease the Legion so that they may hopefully stand down. Open fire and don't miss a captain. Massacre. Try to appease the Legion with concessions. Hold fire unless they shoot first. Yes, that is what we're going to do. The legionaries withdraw. So, when the legionary marchers met the army, it was a long, silent standoff. Soldiers shouldered with their rifles, their officers at the ready to give or the order. While marchers wavering the Romanian and legionary colors stood the ground. Armed green shirts were ready to defend the marchers if shots were fired. No shots came, though. The army was unwilling to open fire on the crowds, but neither were the green shirts. To Kondranu's dismay, as he stood in front of the marchers, his bold march received little attention from the city's residents. The captain needed either to have intimidated the government or army to turn on the king, or for the march to have instigated a popular demonstration. Abandoned by the city's inhabitants, and either unwilling or unable to order his men to attack, the captain gave the order to withdraw. A bloodbath was narrowly avoided. What cowards. Ah, I love it. Good, good, good. Since we have enough goods, arms. Oh, that's not a lot. That's not bad. Support equipment. Military wise, yeah, we do we do lose all those factors, which is kind of not great, but whatever. Go on lorry by five. So we can spread out some more artillery, more stuff around here, that'll be good. Keep making some planes too, that'd be pretty pretty good to make. Not bad. We have minus political power, minus stability, but not bad so far. Oh, Greece is at war with Bulgaria. Ah, oh, we did disband the backed. That makes sense. Cool. Renew pride. So, at long last, a shame of the defeat in the First World War has been avenged. Not only have we successfully cast off the treaty yoke, but we have also successfully reunited our kin beneath our banner. Let all Romanians rejoice, for the finest hour has come. It took us long enough, too. It is 1940, so wow. The dust settles. The crisis is finally over. The government has restored order seemingly once and for all. While the nation's future is still clouded in debt, or doubt, the way forward is becoming increasingly clear and a sense of normalcy slowly returns. The time will tell what the future holds for Romania. Ah, uh, 59% support. Oh, Japan, Dutchies, Indies. Oh, wait, they... Ah, the Rocky Mountain Seas fire. And they join the Entente. I'm surprised Canada did not get involved yet. That's probably really bad for these guys, but... Since they're peace now, that's really not good for these guys at all. Well, not good for the Entente, because if you give the CSA time to rebuild itself, especially with Canada and the PSA not having nearly as much manpower or industry as the CSA... Yeah. I don't know, man. That's not good for them. That's really not good. Ease of conscription. When selected, we get political power. I don't want to go down to partial mobilization, especially ease of conscription. Man, we're going to be at war soon enough. Even though we are on... Oh, we might... Be, uh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't really don't want to do that. I really don't. Actually, what type of division are we using? This is mostly 19 combat width. You guys are the other... No, oh, that's not good. Switch it over to Legionary Veterans. No, that's what you already are. No. We need more artillery. We need a lot more artillery, actually. So, do this and do that. Good. Really pump out that artillery. Get a little bit more of this as well. Serbia, we'll trade with you just for a little bit. Oh, steel-wise, not bad. We need less steel, which is always good. Tungsten, go and grab one. More, that's okay. We got plenty of naval experience. And we're trying to renew our pride. Which what do we get out of this? Is it paternal autocracy? Improve the Carol Carol's influence. Actually, how's that looking? Doesn't matter. Actually, we can still declare readiness for war. Um, 
Serbia will prepare to attack Austria. We must be ready for war. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know if that's really necessary. Serbia has done really well out of this war. Holy cow. What is that? Is that Australasia? Maybe? Actually, before we end this episode, how's this war going? Albania... Uh, Albania is back? Oh, they're in the, on top because of Serbia. Yeah. Uh, that's not bad, especially against these guys. Oh, mechanized offensives. Cool. Let's get the next one going. Shock and awe. I love it. Colombian Hawaiian Dutch War. Co prosperity spirit. Third international versus the Reich's pact. Wow, that's a lot of losses. Quite a bit for France as well. Moscow Accord. Not bad. The Moscow Accord is doing really well. Don Kuban Union has not been attacked, surprisingly, actually. Out of all nations available, they're the ones who have not been really attacked yet, which is a little strange. I'm not going to lie, that's a little strange in my mind. Just want time to go on a little bit further, just so we can get this next focus done. And then we'll end the episode, just because I want to finish this one and eventually get to old Entente ties. Future direction. Oh, we can do the Carlos Restoration too. Great. And there goes that nation that we don't really care about. That's good. How long would, would it take for us to go to war with Bulgaria? A little bit of lag, that's fine. Oh, we have no political power, so we're not even close. Maklik, cool. Military police, very good. 42. There you go. Keep going, keep going. What are we building? More civilian factories? Even another dockyard? I like that. Do we have actually research? No, we don't. Cool, renew pride. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sentinels of the Fatherland. Oh, we gotta keep an eye on this too. We got time though. Yeah, they did really well coming through here. Actually, has France taken Mulhausen? Cool. Belgium. We're not stationed here. And the Union of Berlin was kicked out. Hmm. How unfortunate for them. Oh, and so was the French Republic. Hmm. The Socialist Republic of Italy is doing pretty well against two Sicilies. Oh, that's Switzerland actually pushed into Austria as well. Interesting. We only get, I get 1.32 every day. That's not bad. The Russians have stopped their advance somewhat. Somewhat. I'll still looking good up there. Anything else in Asia? The Chinese nations are killing each other again. In two places. The Bharati economy is looking amazing right now. And that's pretty much it. The world's on fire. But what else do you ex expect with the Pacific states attacking Mexico? That's a good encirclement right there. If they can keep it. Yeah, they did. Very good. Come on. Three days. Four days. That is just disgusting. I hate seeing a brown Norway, which sounds out of context really unusual, but this is disgusting. This is really disgusting. Finland looks like it's very cut off as well here, which is fine. Um, anything else here? Not really. Cool. And we're done with Renewing Pride. Let's go ahead. Oh, we could do this. I really want old Entente ties, though. I think that'd be for the best. So, in 1916, Romania joined the Entente powers at the height of Russian victories against the Central Powers. While we were defeated, the remnants of the Entente have persisted through capitulations and revolutions. Now that the Romania is free and independent once more, we are naturally gravitating towards our former allies, and we should formally request to rejoin them in our noble endeavor. Good. And then we'll do Carlos' restoration after that. But I hope you enjoyed today's amazing episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow when we're joining the Entente and taking the fight to the Reichspact and maybe the third international thanks for watching have a great rest of your day